In this video, we're looking at the area of a triangle. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend that this shape isn't a triangle at all. I'm going to pretend that it's a rectangle. So if I had a rectangle here, 9 by 10, remember the area of a rectangle is length times width. So area of rectangle is the length times the width. So if I wanted to work out the area of this whole shape, I'd do 9 times 10, which would be 90 centimetres squared. But I don't want the whole shape. And it's cut exactly down the middle. So I only want half of this shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to half the 90, and that's going to give me my answer for the area of the triangle, which is half times the area of the rectangle. Half times 90, which would be 45 centimetres squared. So it'd be useful to have a formula for the area of a triangle. So what we're going to do is we're going to say the area of a triangle is half times the base times the height. Half times base times height. So what we can do is we can do half times 10 times 9. So in this case that would be half times 10 times 9. Half times 10 is 5. 5 times 9 is 45 centimetres squared again. So when we're working out the area of a triangle, we're going to do half times base times height. Okay, so let's look at the first one here. We've got the base is 3 and the height is 4. So we're going to use the formula half times base times height. So we've got half times 3 times 4. It doesn't matter what order you do multiplication in, but I'm just going to do it in the order that's there. It might not be the easiest way, but um, we'll just do it that way. So half of 3, that's 1.5, and 1.5 times 4, 1 and a half fours, that's 6. So this is 6 metres squared. I think it would have been easier if we did 3 times 4 first and got 12 and then halved it. But, um, yeah, because you can do this multiplication in any order. This one here is an interesting one. So when we say the height, the height here has got to be what they call the perpendicular height. Perpendicular height. So that means it can't be slanted. It's got to be straight up, vertically up, straight up. So we're looking at this as the height and this is the base. This tens here is just there to mislead us. We don't need it in the question. So half times base times height. So half times 12 times 8. In this case, I think half times 12 first, which is easier. So that's 6. And then 6 eighths. That's 48. And this is centimetres squared. Remember the units when we're doing area is always in squares. We measure area in squares. And finally here, I've got 1 metre. And I've got 50 centimetres. Now they're in different units. We need to make the units the same before we do the question. Because we've either got to measure it in centimetre squares or we've got to measure it in metre squares. So if I wanted to measure it in centimetre squares, I'd change this to 100 centimetres. And then I'd do half times base, which is 50, times the height, which is 100. Half times 50 is 25, so now I've got 25 times 100, and 25 times 100 is 25 with two zeros on the end. So 2,500 centimetres squared. I could have also done this question in metres, so I would have had to change this one to 0 0.5 metres. That would have given me half times half times one. 
half times a half, half times a half is a quarter, half of a half is a quarter. So that would be 0 0.25 times 1, which is 0 0.25 metres squared. Okay, here's some more questions. Try them. Pause the video now, give them a go, and I'll go through the answers after. Okay, so remember the formula, half times base times height. That's how we find the area of a triangle. So for this one, we're looking at the perpendicular height, remember. This one's slanty. We don't want this one. We want the perpendicular, the straight up height. So it's half times 6 times 8. Half times 6 is 3, and 3 8 is 24. 24 centimeters squared. This is the perpendicular height, so we've got half times the base, which is 10, times the height, which is 8. Half times 10 is 5, and 5 times 8 is 40, so 40 centimeters squared. And this one's in meters, but that doesn't make a difference. So half times base, which is 5, times the height, which is 10. In this case, I think it's easier to times these first and then half it. So 5 times 10 is 50, and half of 50, that's 25 metres squared this time.